Over the last half century, Japan has left its distinct cultural imprint on the world. Through visual arts like woodcuts and music such as taiko, the world has embraced the sights and sounds of the Japanese imagination. In recent years, an entirely new genre of art, born in Japan, has taken the world by storm, becoming an essential element of global culture. But all of this spreading influence is the product of the last 200 years, following a radical shift in Japanese government, society, and culture. Let's begin with the story of this startling historic transformation. But as we transition from the traditional to the modern, it's crucial to understand how Japan came to be as we know it today, through the Meiji Restoration. The Meiji Restoration was a pivotal event in Japan's history, a period of significant political and social revolution that occurred in the latter half of the 19th century. The word Meiji translates to enlightened rule, marking a fitting description of the changes that swept through Japan during this era. Before the Meiji Restoration, Japan was a feudal society ruled by the Tokugawa shogunate, a military government that maintained strict control over the country, implementing isolationist policies that restricted any foreign influence. But with the arrival of Commodore Matthew Perry in 1853 came the end of the Tokugawa shogunate. Perry's black ships and the unequal treaties that followed exposed the shogunate's inability to stand against the rapidly advancing Western powers. After a period of turmoil came the Meiji Restoration in 1868, which saw the return of political power to the young Emperor Meiji. The restoration marked the end of the shogunate system and the beginning of Japan's transformation. During the Meiji era, Japan began to incorporate Western ideas into its art and music resulting in a cultural renaissance of sorts. But this era served as proof that countries embracing foreign cultures do not have to compromise on their own traditions and values. Japan maintained its unique cultural identity while embracing change and modernization, a characteristic that continues to resonate in the Japan we know today. And from there comes the cultural phenomenon that has taken the world by storm. Anime Anime is a distinctive style of animated storytelling that originates from Japan, with roots entrenched in the nation's rich artistic and cultural heritage. But its reach and influence are undeniably universal. Over the years, numerous anime series and films have not just gained international acclaim, but have also left an indelible imprint on global pop culture. Astro Boy, the endearing robot boy with a heart of gold, introduced the world to the charm and depth of anime storytelling. Akira, a dystopian cyberpunk narrative, became a cult classic, pushing the boundaries of visual storytelling. Perhaps the most impactful animated series to come out of Japan have been created by Studio Ghibli with heartwarming masterpieces like Spirited Away and Princess Mononoke. The director of Studio Ghibli is this man, Hayao Miyazaki, often hailed as Japan's Walt Disney. His works effortlessly weave the essence of Japanese cultural heritage into narratives that speak to universal human experiences. His tales are suffused with a sense of nostalgia and the interplay of traditional and modern themes, striking a chord with audiences both in Japan and beyond. From the idyllic countryside in My Neighbor Totoro, to the nostalgic depiction of post-war Yokohama in From Up on Poppy Hill. His narratives encapsulate the changing face of Japan and the tension between tradition and modernity. But perhaps the most distinct thread that runs through Miyazaki's works is his profound appreciation for nature. Miyazaki's films are populated with lush landscapes, majestic creatures, and stories that center around the intricate relationship between humans and the natural world. This focus on nature is not merely aesthetic. It's a vehicle through which Miyazaki explores complex themes like environmental conservation, the consequences of human greed, and the interconnectedness of all living things. 
His ability to create narratives that are both deeply Japanese and universally human has earned him global acclaim. His work has introduced countless international viewers to the depth and breadth of Japanese culture, effectively expanding the world's appreciation for Japanese creativity and imagination. Moreover, his films have challenged the global perception of animation, demonstrating that it can be a medium for profound, thought-provoking narratives rather than just light-hearted entertainment for children. As we draw this journey to a close, it's clear that the future of Japanese art holds infinite promise. With a foundation rooted in rich traditions, openness to global influences, and a constant spirit of innovation, Japan's cultural landscape is set to continue evolving, captivating, and inspiring on an ever-grander international stage.